What is up guys, my name is Ryan, your DIY guy. On today's episode, we're going to be filming this barn door installation. But first, we've got to remove this dated cabinet. It came with the house and the homeowner absolutely hates it. But the barn door will be a fantastic renovation. So let's get started. Today, Ryan will be installing a barn door with a soft close mechanism. A barn door doesn't require hinges. Instead, a barn door is installed flat against the wall and has two rollers attached to the top of the door, which roll along a track or railing system. Barn doors are great for creating privacy and they save a substantial amount of space compared to a standard hinge door. Remember to always follow the easy to use step-by-step -step instruction manual enclosed in the installation kit. Let's get on to the assembly of the sliding rail system. And the cool thing about this entire kit, it has simple instructions so you can follow step by step, but we're gonna take you through it every step of the way. So let's get started with the railing system. For the railing system, they come in two pieces, two metal pieces. These join in the center. And the first step is to install our soft close mechanism. Now take note, there is two separate sides, one for the left and one for the right hand side. So take note, according to the instructions, which side is which. And then more importantly, for the soft close mechanism, you can see it comes with shorter machine screws at first. Those need to be removed and replaced with the longer machine screws in order to fit through the sliding rail. Once you've got each of the sides located, you can go ahead and install. And for the soft close mechanism, you're gonna install it on the inside of the rail in order to engage on the door, which you'll see a bit later on. Now we can do the same to the other side. With our soft close mechanisms now installed, we can measure exactly where we'll install our sliding rail. And in order to do that, we've got to measure out the height of our door from top to bottom. So our door height is 203 centimeters. That equates to about 2,030 millimeters. So according to the instructions, we need to add 10 millimeters to the bottom, as well as 43 millimeters to the top. And that gives us a total line height of 2,083 millimeters. I hope you're following along. Now we can mark a horizontal line across, ensuring that it is level. Then we can mark out our pilot holes in order to secure our sliding rail to the wall. And now we can drill them with the appropriate drill bit, as well as use our wall plugs and our wall anchors. Now it's time to install our roller hangers and the kit is so awesome it comes with absolutely everything you need from the rollers itself as well as the bolts and nuts that you're going to need for the installation so all you've got to do is measure up four millimeters from the top of the door down to the first hole and then 130 millimeters to the second hole we're also going to space it a certain distance from the side of the door and that's just to accommodate for our stopper mark that off with a pencil and then drill using a 10 millimeter drill bit just to ensure there's enough clearance for our bolts and nuts to go through
Once you've installed each of your bondo rollers, you can simply use a spanner just to hand tighten it. Don't over tighten it, otherwise you may damage your door. We're almost there and we've temporarily installed the door. Now all we need to add is the actuators which activate the soft close mechanism. To wrap this project up, let's put on our bump stops, the door handle and take the old door off and wrap this project up. What a fantastic end to such an awesome DIY project. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did doing it. And it is a great versatile application throughout your home. Make sure you tune in for all our other DIY projects coming up very soon. But until next time, I'm Ryan, your DIY guy. For more DIY solutions, visit Galmar in-store or browse online.